Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors, transducers and instrumentation and we'll extend our discussion on position and displacement measurement. We have discussed potentiometric and inductive sensors. Now we'll discuss capacitive sensor for position and displacement measurement. So the basic operating principle of any kind of capacitive sensor which is used for measurement of any physical parameter it is based on the principle of parallel plate capacitor so basically it consists of two parallel metal plates for sensor purposes one of them is fixed other one is movable it is basically connected to a connecting rod which is connected to the object the displacement or the physical parameter of which is to be measured so the capacitance is dependent on several parameters the important ones are first so the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is dependent on several parameters the most important one I mean which are used for measurement or sensing purposes first is the separation gap between the plates okay that is the first important parameter the separation distance between the plate next is the area of overlap between the plates not the plate area in the individual plate area but the overlapping plate area that is very important how much portion of each plate is exactly over the other that is important okay the overlapping area and then is the permittivity okay if the sensor is placed in air or free space only absolute permittivity comes into play if it is placed in any other medium absolute and relative permittivity of the medium comes into play so here you have to understand a few things the capacitance is inversely proportional to the separation gap the separation distance so as the separation distance increases capacitance decreases and vice versa it is directly proportional to the overlap area so as the overlapping area increases capacitance increases and as the overlapping area decreases the capacitance decreases and is directly proportional to the permittivity absolute and relative so uh, absolute is constant relative permittivity the more the relative permittivity of the medium means more it allows the electric field lines to pass through it so the capacitance will increase so here the two things the separation distance and the overlapping area these two things we will most commonly for displacement measurement these two things are used first is the uh, capacitor plates out of which one of them is movable it is connected to the object the displacement of which is to be measured so when the object moves the capacitor plates the movable plate it moves and as a result the separation distance it changes whether in which direction the object is moving depending on that it can either increase or decrease and that causes a change in capacitance and also in the other case the movable plate the overlapping area when it is used it is connected to the object the displacement of which is to be measured and when it moves in either direction it causes either an increase in overlapping area or decrease and that causes a change in the capacitance so change in distance as I said as D increases C decreases and vice versa because it is inversely proportional so the sensitivity is given by this minus epsilon a by d square and for overlapping area the uh, <clears throat> the length of the plate and its width that comes into play so here x is the width of the portion of the overlapping area which is lying one above the other the portion okay so that contributes to the change in overlapping area with the sensitivity given by epsilon w by d because the length of the plate w is fixed this this portion is fixed 
this portion cannot change but this portion okay this portion the length or the portion the length of the overlapping area which lies one above the other that is changing that is called as x and the sensitivity is calculated with respect to that okay area is width into length and that gives us this so with respect to the length of the overlapping area the sensitivity is calculated as as this okay so this is uh, with respect to change in overlapping area and change in uh, distance in some cases the permittivity uh, is also used the permittivity concept is also used it's like uh, let me use a clean slide to uh, demonstrate let us say we have two mediums okay of different permittivities let's say this is air and this is some other medium with permittivity as this okay this is the permittivity of medium 1 air and this is the permittivity of medium 2 suppose we have a capacitor parallel plate capacitor sensor which is like this so here both the plates are fixed both are fixed and the sensor is collectively connected to the object the movement of which is to be measured so now as the object is moving from one medium to the other because of its displacement it slowly moves into medium 2 so here the concept of uh, dielectric constant or permittivity comes into play so as i said the capacitance is directly proportional to the permittivity absolute and relative so as it increases the relative permittivity as it increases or the dielectric constant also called as a relative permittivity as it increases the capacitance increases and as it decreases it decreases so here two conditions are there first condition let's say uh, we have a conducting slab of thickness t which is inserted between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor so there is a whole derivation we don't need that here the capacitance of this arrangement with a conducting slab of thickness t inserted in between them it is given by c0 by 1 minus t by t where c0 is the capacitance of the normal parallel plate capacitor without the conducting slab which is epsilon 0 a by d and t is the plate or the slab thickness the conducting slab thickness then we have a dielectric slab which is inserted the same principle of thickness t which is inserted in between them here the capacitance of the dielectric slab is given by epsilon 0 a by d minus t into 1 minus 1 by k okay where k is the dielectric constant or the relative uh, permittivity of the dielectric slab so here the principle is that the conducting slab it does not allow any electric field lines to penetrate through it because it has a large number of uh, free charge carriers but for dielectric as it has less number of charge carriers it selectively or allows a very small number of electric field lines to pass through it okay so this is the whole thing so this is the basic principle of capacitive uh, sensor using parallel plate capacitor now how it can be used to measure position and displacement the same three arrangements which is normally used so we have the object which is oscillating in between two extreme points kind of a simple harmonic motion oscillatory or vibratory motion so we place two capacitive sensors on two extreme points as the object strikes the rod which is connected to the movable plate it can either cause a change in overlapping area or distance and that contributes to a change in capacitance that change in capacitance is converted into suitable voltage or current signal using proper signal conditioning techniques using bridges or any other tank circuit or any other circuit 
and we get a proper voltage or current signal okay then the second arrangement is the continuous position and displacement tracking so here we place a series of capacitive sensors at fixed separation gaps so here uh, sorry this is um, zero I, by mistake i wrote eight okay zero meters starting from zero then let's say here it is eight meters here it is 16 meters like that so when the object is it strikes the particular capacitive sensor the rod which is connected to the movable plate that particular sensor is triggered and produces a voltage or current signal which gives us information about the instantaneous position and we calculate the total displacement from it then similarly the angular position and displacement measurement where the sensors are placed at angular positions fixed separation uh, separated by fixed amounts so that gives us the angular position and the net angular displacement and we can use more number of sensors in between to get more accurate and precise tracking okay here also we can use more number of sensors in between to get more detailed uh, information so this is the basic principle of capacitive sensors for angular, uh, sorry, uh, linear and angular position and displacement track.